and welcome to class. Today, we're going to be focusing on pronunciations. To get us started, we're going to be doing a flashcard activity. Bear in mind that this is going to be a little different and perhaps a little more difficult than a face-to-face -face flashcard activity since we're all doing this virtually. But don't worry, I get you all covered. First of all, you're all going to be paired up and I am sending the pairs in the chat. So you can please go ahead and check who your buddy is in the chats. And I have assigned a student A and student B to each group. Now, once you find your buddy, also check this document that I am sending everyone. This document is the flashcard where to get us started, student A will be sharing their screen with this document, which contains 20 words. And student A can show these words one at a time by scrolling down with their mouse, while student B is going to pronounce each word that comes up. After student B finishes pronouncing every word on the list, you two are going to switch roles. So student B will be showing student A the document and have student A pronounce the words. Now please get ahead and get started. And if you have any questions, let me know in the chat or unmute yourselves. Amanda, you have a question? Yes? Yes, you, you made a really, really good point here. Um, since you're sharing screens, it's a little bit different from the flashcards since if you're student A, you already have your screen pulled up, you don't have to close it off and have B share it. You can just go back on top of the list and pronounce the words. The purpose is to have another set of ears and eyes when you are pronouncing these words. And you can compare each other's pronunciations. So in this sense, it's, it's going to be helpful. And thank you for pointing this out. Okay. All right, five minutes later after the students are done pronouncing the words. Welcome back to class. Now I'm going to go over these words that you just saw on your flashcards. So first of all, today we are going to be talking about the minimal pairs and these 20 words that you have just seen and pronounced are the 20 most popular minimal pairs in English. Nick, uh, great question. So you asked, what is a minimal pair? Minimal pairs are words that are very similar in pronunciation they are basically almost pronounced in the same way, but they have one sound that makes them different. And this sound can be either a vowel or a consonant. And you're right, these words do not have to mean anything similar. They could mean really different things. And they can be, yes, very confusing because the way they're pronounced is very similar. Okay, so let's get started. The first pair is lot and not. So everyone repeat after me, lot. What is lot? Parking lot, yep, a lot. Mm -hmm. And what is not? Not is not, right? Okay, yeah, this is, this is simple, but the way they're pronounced could be confusing sometimes. So lot and not. Okay, now let's get into our second pair. It's flight and fight flight, like an airplane mm -hmm. in a flight, fight. <laughs> Luke and Sam, you just got in a fight, a fight virtually, right? Okay, flight and fight. Great job. Okay, our third pair, lit and let. Lit, lit, when you have your tongue up, and let, let is a little bit longer than lit. Lit is a little bit shorter. Yes. And the fourth pair, pat and bat. Pat and bat. Repeat after. Great. Next one, it's sip and zip. Repeat after me. Sip and zip. Sip is with a s sound and zip, z. Yes, with a z sound. Sip is when you're sipping water and zip is when you are zipping up something. 
Next one is writer and writer. Writer and writer. Correct. See, I even, yeah, sometimes I can't even say it correctly when I say it too fast. So it is helpful when you are saying these words you're not familiar with slowly. Writer and writer. Okay, next one is pen and pan. Pen and pan. Okay, next, T's and knees. T's and knees. One is a T and the second one is a knee, although it starts with a K. Like knowledge, knees. Okay, next one, it's tie and lie. Ah, that one's easy, seems like all oh, you got it. Okay, next one, arrive and alive. Rive, live. Good job, guys.